Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'll discuss about some of the important network validations that takes place on the MT1 J3 messages. So let's get started. So the field 33B in MT1 J3, we call it as an instructed amount. There's some sort of network validation that happens over the 33B field on the MT1 J3 messages. So what are they? So what I mean to say the network validation is if it doesn't meet to the validation criteria, it will nag. And when it is nagged, it will throw some error message as well. So in a nag message, as we know that there is a 451 field over there, it will come as the value as one. And then 455 field will carry out this error code called as D75, right? So let's understand what is those criterias. So if the field 33B is present and the currency code is different from the currency code in field 32A, the field 36 must be present, otherwise the field 36 is not allowed. What it means is, so whenever 33B is present, meaning instructed amount uh, along with the currency, so this instructed amount and the currency, this currency right over here in this example of this MT103, this euro is the currency of the instructed amount. If, right, if it is the same currency to that of your 32A, then this 33B is not mandatory. If 33B currency is different than that of your 32A currency, then this field 36 becomes mandatory. Now, what is field 36? Field 36 is called as the exchange rate. It only comes to the picture when there is a cross-currency payment. Now, in this particular example, 33B is instructed amount, meaning the customer's account currency is in euro. The amount debited is in euro. And the nostro account, basically, of the particular bank, in this case, the customer whose uh, account is there in the 50K, right? The bank is, let's suppose, uh, Standard Bank France. That's Standard for Standard France has this nostro account in this particular currency, GDP. And that's why it is uh, cross-currency. Basically, this particular customer wanted to make a fund transfer in GVP to this particular uh, customer who is Sam Flint of in Standard Bank Trade Britain. And that's why the instructed amount is the amount that gets debited and the currency of the particular ordering customer and the uh, interbank settlement amount 32A is the account of the nostro account of this Standard Bank France over this Standard Bank credit between in the uh, GDP currency. So to cut short, to understand a short way is whenever field 33B is present and the currency code is different than that of your 32A amount, then the field 36 will be always available. Simple, right? If it is not there, right, in that case, there will be a error code sent as a NAC message by the uh, SWIFT or any of these payment schemas because it has to be there in the cross-border payment. And if field 33B is present and the currency code in the field is equal to the currency code in field 32A, let's suppose if it is euro and 32A is also euro, the beneficiary customer has to receive an euro. In that case, the field 36 is not required. It makes sense, right? Because... 36 is not required to make, I mean, uh, why would someone send exchange rate for euro to euro? It doesn't make sense, right? So it has to be the cross currency and then that's when you will have this field 36 available. So this is the network validation that happens on the 33B criteria. There are so many other network validations that takes place on the SWIFT network that we need to understand. Now, if you want to understand cross-border payment in depth, right? We have the courses going on every month over the weekends as well as weekdays. So you can just inquire uh, with us on those. And also we have the SEPA payment program, which we have launched recently, right? So you can reach out to us on this SEPA payment program as well. It is a one month program. It is almost around 20 hours of duration. You'll get a lot of contents out of this as well. And we have an experienced trainer 
who is walking and has been walking into safer market from more than eight plus years. So grab this opportunity because this is something uh, we are providing in a very low prices. Nowhere else you'd get it in this low price, right? Grab this opportunities. The criterias are same. You know, uh, you have the self-paced programs for this safe up payments, and you have this uh, ongoing weekend programs as well. Every month it happens. So reach out to us on swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com and you'll get every information on it. So in both the programs in Swift and ISO 2022 as well as SIPA programs, you'll get this training on this 50 interview questions that is very much important for you to crack the interviews as we already have this information with us that more than 150 students have been placed after going through from after going through our trainings it has helped them to crack the interviews which is there in the market so our training program is basically a interview driven program and also uh, it would help for you once you move into your organization it will help you to get started how to get how to walk and out so it is designed for everyone even though you belong to some other background uh, not all you are not from the banking sector healthcare insurance whatever you are walking into every even even from bbo sector you can learn these payments as we know that this iso 2022 migration is bringing a lot of opportunity for everyone to move into this field and this domain is going to be a hot kick for this another six to seven years and a lot of op opportunities has opened up because all the payment schemas around the world, high-value payment system, low-value payment system, real-time payment system, everything is moving into ISO 2022. So if you have a knowledge, then this is definitely going to help you out in cracking some of the very good interviews around the world. So New Orleans and self-paced patch is always there with uh, for, for our regular cross-border payment in ISO 2022. So this is something we wanted to update to all our subscribers and to all the payment group, the payment group uh, fans that so far, the news is that we have been able to, uh, you know, help our students to uh, to crack some of the good interviews. And almost 150 students so far is what we have got update that by going through our trainings, they have got opportunity into the market. The organizations is topmost organizations in the country or, or it is MNC com companies as well around the different banks and different part of world as well because we do train the students from different countries it, whether it be the usa uk germany anyway so many students out there who do enroll to our trainings and since our training cost is the cheapest in the market i would not say the cheapest it is low uh, budget friendly this I have made it so that I just wanted to ensure like whoever wants to learn the payments domain, they just learn it with a very minimum price. In the market, if you go ahead and if you look for some payment trainings, you would definitely find it very expensive around 30, 35 to 50K in the international rupees. All right. And the content we provide is comparatively, comparatively very uh, detailed and comparatively more. And we provide a real-time experience-wise training and not in theoretical manner. So that's what the difference between us and the other training platform. So uh, there's a limited period offer going on for our uh, ISO 2022 and the uh, cross-border payment program as well as in the SEPA program as well. So just uh, email us to know more on this. So that is on swiftpaymentguru at gmail.com and we'll provide you details in in detail in depth right so that is what i wanted to uh, tell you about and uh, i would look i would be looking forward to get a lot of enrollment because as i as i have been telling you this uh, iso 2022 migration has already started the phase one has been done and we have time till 25 november and that post that enhancement and then maintenance project a lot of things is to come so learn and just grab this opportunity. I'll see you next time. Signing off. Thank you all.